what uh, do the guys hope to get out of it here moving forward toward uh, big camp? You know, that's a real good question. I haven't asked them, so I didn't know we were playing ball hockey. I just came up to watch these kids play. So I'm uh, learning just as you are. You know, obviously we have people that are, are doing this. Because I haven't been here as long, I haven't set up this development camp. They're doing, uh, they're doing what they do and I'm watching and then we'll go from here and that's what I think you do you hire good people and you let them work and then you you, you talk to each other and you come up with the best plan moving ahead so uh, you know it's been uh, just good for me to see some of the kids here today I don't know who they are when we draft them when you coach in the National League as long as I have and you don't coach in Canada you don't see any junior kids you already see any college kids so you don't know who the players are and so uh, um, now you get a chance to see them and it's nice to put a uh, face to a body and a skill set, and now we'll continue to watch them. So I imagine you won't be playing paintball then, or will you be this afternoon? I'm not playing ba paintball. I'm going to pass on the paintball, but uh, uh, you know, it's it's just uh, like anything. We're, the expectation for this camp for me is real simple. As much as everyone's excited about the on ice stuff, that for me is about the fourth thing. Uh, you know, the nutrition factor in it, the mm -hmm. strength and training, you know, the media factor, learning how to be a pro. And, learning what you need to go home and fix for yourself and so what I mean by that is hey, you can come here and skate with one of our guys for a few days but if you don't go home and find the guy to help you a few days of this isn't going to help you just like your strength training just like eating right so uh, to me you're the CEO of your own company it's not your mom it's not your dad it's not your agent it's you and so you have to take responsibility for where you're going and how you're getting there. Does that message sink in better with kids these days than it might have what, maybe a decade ago when these camps sort of started? Well, you know, I don't know the answer to that. I, I believe, you know, I've, I've been in the game a long time, and I think maybe I've coached one player that didn't want help in all the years I've coached. Everybody wants to, if you got something to offer, they're all in because they want to get better. And, and that's what I think uh, most players are like. So these are opportunities, developmental opportunities for them. And the guys who love it the most and have a passion for it are going to separate themselves from the group. And that's just the facts. I mean, all you got to do is look at the best players in our league, the true superstars. They have a will and a determination, a heart, a soul different than the rest of the players. That's what separates them. There's lots of good players in the league, but the guys that are truly great, uh, they love it so much that it oozes out of them. And that's what we're looking for when we watch these kids. Was there something that Detroit did in development that you could try to emulate as an organization here? Like, why do they have that formula? Well, I mean, they have real good scouts. They have the best general manager in hockey. Uh, great owner uh, who let the GM run a real good program. And they kept their people and they kept building on it. When they made mistakes, they didn't dwell on it. They just... Uh, went ahead and kept doing it and they hired good people and let them do their jobs but uh, you know there's no question that Ken Hall and, you know everyone talks about Lidstrom and Iserman and, and, and Datsuk and Zetterberg but the superstar there is Ken Hall. So is there a lesson that Toronto can learn? There's lots of lessons yeah. but I don't have all day so this is <laughs> you guys got seven minutes so we'll just move on what's next? On the, that, on the heels of what you said you haven't really seen a lot of these guys so much Kasperi Kapanen in your limited exposure to him, what, what kind of player can he be? Well, that's a good question. Right now, he's just a kid. He played in the American League as a kid last year. You know, and you know, I'm a big believer you shouldn't rush these guys. You should give them the opportunity to get their confidence. And then if you're a scorer, to score before you move to the next level. I mean, he's got to develop his body. But obviously, he has a skill set that's elite. And so... Uh, he's bigger than I expected. He's going to have a lot of work to do on his body, but he's got a talent base that's going to lead him to, I believe, being a top six forward in the NHL one day. There, at least that's his skill set. Now, what's his determination? What's his heart? What's his work ethic off the ice? And we're going to find all those things out over time, just like you guys are. Kyle Dubas was saying yesterday that Frederick Gauthier is a Mac, like Babcock kind of player. What do you want to see from him? Yeah, no, I don't know what that means. Uh, you know, uh, so I haven't talked to him. I don't plan on talking to him really here. If I bump into him, I just saw uh, uh, William in the hallway. I talked to him. But that's, I just came here to watch him, and I'll get to know these guys at camp. Uh, a Mike Babcock type of player is, is the most competitive guy on the ice. And the more skill you have, 
and the more you compete, and the more you do it right, the more I like you. And my favorite usually changes on a daily basis based on how you play. So to have, a, you know, I don't know what, what the answer to that is. William Nylander said yesterday the message he took from day one, work hard and be good people. I guess you'd be, you'd be happy with that uh, for a start. Well, I think, you know, I just talked to him here, obviously. He's a kid with, with upside skill who, I, you know, I just was talking to him and asked him who he plays like and what he wants to be. And, and he's very clear that uh, he feels he should play in the middle and he likes to have the puck a lot. So that's a great thing. Now he's got to work hard enough to have the puck a lot. And so he's got a developmental work to do, obviously, as a kid and it takes you a long time in this league to be an impact player for most of these kids so we just got to keep helping him become the player that he's capable of being and you know i just said to him is uh, when he takes a job he'll have a job real simple uh, the jobs aren't given to anybody you got to take one and and we now have i think 13 nhl forwards signed if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. and so if you're one of these other guys you got to take someone's job Travis Dermott was saying that when you spoke to the group at the beginning of camp, that you had a, you had a captivated room. Everybody wanted to listen to you. How much do you enjoy being able to get in front of a room full of young kids and, as you were saying, remind them what they have to do, what they have to grow, what they should expect out of themselves? Well, I just think, uh, number one, if you keep it short, they appreciate it. So, uh, you know, that's like everything. So, uh, you know, obviously they're at their first, a kid like him is at his first camp and he thinks he's going to play in the National Hockey League. And, and we're we're betting on him and hoping he's going to play in the National Hockey League. But the work he does between now and the next three or four years is going to determine that. Uh, you know, what's interesting is uh, I had Peter Hall and talked to the guys yesterday just about, you know, you get drafted and then how long it actually takes for you to be an NHL player. They're on a journey. They have to understand it's a journey. And we have to understand that too. And, and you don't rush them. You just... You, you give them the time they need, but you do everything you can to enhance their opportunity to help them grow as people and, and as men and as players. And when you do those things over a period of time, you, know, you end up with a real good team. And, but it takes longer than we all want. That's just reality of the situation. So just plug away and, and uh, you guys are going to talk to me every day probably. And every day I won't have any answers for you, but uh, I'll just try and tell you that we're on a journey. Thanks, Bill.